Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be talking about things you may or may not know about the Quick Shape tool. The Quick Shape tool is this uh, star shape tool right here, which you can either click by uh, clicking on the tool itself on the little icon here, the star icon, or you can uh, hold down Shift and F2 to open up the tool. Um, so the Quick Shape shape tool works much like um, the the both the ellipse and the rectangle tool that I went over uh, recently. Um, in that it has the uh, add and uh, change tool mode, uh, it has the radius creation, the diameter creation, and the bounds creation. Uh, it also has a variety of other tools that um, those, those tools don't have. Um, one is create polygons, and one's create ellipses, and one's uh, for starred shapes. Okay, so uh, the starred shapes works with the, uh, the create polygons, but if I wanted to click off of the starred shapes, I would get just the polygon, right? And I've got my nine-sided shape. Here you select the number of sides, yeah? Uh, and I can just toggle that back and forth to get my, uh, my star or my polygon. If I don't want um, it to be a, uh, a polygon, if I want it to be an ellipse, I can just click this ellipse tool and this will turn off the polygons and I get a circle. Very simple, very easy. Uh, and I can stretch this just like I would any other ellipse, you know, that kind of thing, uh, just by grabbing it and changing it. Um, and let's see, let's go back to polygon. I can change this as well, right? Doesn't matter how I, I play with it. Uh, and uh, another thing I can do is like uh, the rectangle shape, I can uh, curve corners. Now, uh, let me go ahead and reduce that in number to maybe six. Uh, one thing that I didn't show you with the rectangle tool that uh, you can do with it and with this is um, instead of clicking this uh, little curved corners icon, you can just double click any one of the corners itself and you get a curved corner and then you can adjust it uh, under the curvature you can adjust how big the curve is yeah or how small okay that's uh, that's pretty much it for that I'm gonna unclick that I'm gonna go back to my starred shape and uh, actually I'm just gonna go start over from scratch so here's a nice uh, little star shape um, I'm going to select a number of sides, and you notice here that there are, um, oh, by the way, um, you can use this, like I showed you how to make, make a circle, right, but uh, you can also make a square. Just unclick, click number four, and click the number of, uh, as the number of sides, and unclick the stars, and you get a square. Uh, and you can make rectangles with this, you can, it works exactly like the rectangle tool and the ellipse tool, as far as that goes, right? So, in any case, um, let's go back to start shapes, and uh, right here, I've, I've, you can see that it goes from three to uh, ten uh, sides. Uh, but I don't know if you knew this or not. You can select almost any number you want up to ninety-nine. So, if, just by typing it in. So, if I want to type nine-nine and press enter, I get a star shape with ninety-nine sides. And if I were to increase the size of this, so you can see something a little bit better. You can see that I actually have 99 points all the way going all the way around the shape. Now I'm going to change that back to something a little bit uh, more easy to handle. We'll go with 10 for now. Yeah, And I'm going to decrease the size of this a bit so it's a little bit more easy to use. And uh, another thing you can do is when you have the, uh, um, the Quick Shapes tool selected, and you have a quick shape selected, when you come to one of its edges, right, all of a sudden you see how the mouse changes to that little pointer? Once it does that, you can grab that and you can bend it, yeah? And anything you bend over an existing part of the shape becomes blank, right? So right now you see this white in here, but if I were to take it over uh, on the pasteboard side, you can see it's white here and gray here, right? There's nothing in there, all right? So that's great. You can uh, play around with that. You can twist it around as much as you want. You can make all kinds of psychedelic looking um, shapes out of it. Uh, but one of the things that, uh, but there's more than one side, right? So I could, that was one side that I was bending. I can go to the other side and bend it as well. Yeah. And make it even more psychedelic. Um, 
let's see. And then the last thing, of course, if you want to get super duper psychedelic, you just go in and, and start bending all kinds of things here, right? You can get woo, all kinds of crazy with that. In any case, that's it for, oh, uh, one other thing, forgot to say. Um, if you click on this restore edges, it goes back to its normal number of edges or the, the normal straight edges. Let me go back out to something a little bit more editable. Right? I can do this and do and this. And if I double click one edge, that one will go back. If I double click the other edge, it goes back as well. Right? Or I can always just click this right there and it goes and it makes straight things yeah either one this uh restore edges button will will to bring it back to its original shape all right that's it uh on the um the quick shapes tool uh, i hope you found that uh, interesting and uh, educational and we will talk to you again next time